All right, guys, we're back taking a look at 2022 snowmobiles, and we've got big news in this video. From Ski Doo for 2022, for one year only, the return of a legend, we've got the 2022 Ski Doo Mach Z. Now, this snowmobile made huge waves from Ski Doo this year. They're bringing back a name that really was the staple of the ultimate power snowmobile. Um, and they've got a ton of awesome technology to really bring that to life and make it useful on the trail. Some of the biggest news, of course, the Smart Shocks technology from Ski Doo. This is all new this year. It's an industry first semi active suspension that instantly reads terrain and rider input to automatically dial in your suspension, giving you the optimal ride in any condition. You really can feel this stuff work underneath you. Uh, not only just in terms of big hits and then the suspension recovering, um, you can feel the rebound control. It doesn't want to kick and buck up and, and knock you off the sled, especially when you're up in Sport Plus. Um, and then you do feel the difference between each of the three settings. These are vastly different settings altogether. So if you tune down to, to comfort mode, you'll feel a really plush ride. Sport is where we spent most of our time, um, to be honest with you. And then if you go up to Sport Plus, if you've got a rough trail and you're feeling a little bit of bottoming, you put it in Sport Plus and it's going to totally eliminate that altogether. If you cut up to the display department, Skidoo's got the large panoramic 7.8 inch LCD color display on this model. So this wide full screen display really does let the rider customize their ride from behind the bars. You can choose your preferred sled info. You can see app integrated information in the split screen format. You've got GPS, Bluetooth music, home to home communication control, so much more. Just a ton of flexibility and adjustability from Skidoo here to really bring the ultimate comfort uh, and control to your ride overall. What we really like about this sled is the, the control knob down low here eliminates your need to reach over the handlebars while you're riding or moving to make adjustments. You can reach down, safely make some quick adjustments and reach back up without having to move your hand too far. You can see we've got eco, standard and sport mode controls there and then the smart shocks adjustability as well. You've also got the ability of course to plug in a heat advisor and then Skidoo's, uh, Skidoo's desk system uh, on the right hand side there. Cutting back up to the gauge department, you can see the, the difference in RPMs here when you tune between the different modes. So if you're up in sport mode, you're gonna see 1600 plus RPMs. You go down into eco mode or standard mode, you've got 1250 to 1300. And really easy to tune, right? So you've got the switch down there. One click down from when you start up puts you in eco mode. One click up uh, from there puts you back into standard mode. One click again puts you into sport. And then if you press and hold up, put you, put you into launch control mode as well, which is pretty fun. And then you can see there too, just how easy it is to see which shock setting you're on without having to look down at the switch beneath you. And the controls department, big news for the ACE motor this year, not only the new Turbo R, so putting out 180 horsepower in the Moxie, but you've also got what you saw there was a cable throttle housing. So if you've ridden an ACE motor in the past, you're probably not a fan of the throttle overall compared to a traditional Ski-Doo. This really gives you the feel of a regular Ski-Doo throttle without that ace electronic feeling or that delay or that that really easy to press throttle, which was a little bit of a, a, a worrisome feature for some folks when they tried it with the turbo, um, just that extra power, just worried about potentially applying too much throttle. So love to see that ski Doo's tackled that for this season and they've got the turbo R with the cable throttle housing. Factory storage wise, you saw there up front, we've got under dash storage as well as rear seat storage. So great to see factory storage coming on these snowmobiles. Love being able to bring the essentials right from the factory without having to add on any, any features or bags there. And then here we're gonna show you guys launch control mode. So if once you're in sport mode, if you press and hold it up, you'll see the little cruise control icon you might, you might be familiar with from your uh, automobile up here on the dash. That means you're in launch control mode. You hold in the brake, hold in the throttle wide open, release the brake, and the unit absolutely takes off with near perfect traction, depending on your conditions, of course. So here's one more cut of that. So that's it. That's really a quick tour of the Return of the Legend for one year only Skidoo's Mock Z. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let us know.